We're out here in a, a new Honda Accord, the current uh, model just launched uh, a couple of months ago and it packs, in this top end format packs a lot of high tech features so we're just going to talk you through some of those features that are designed particularly to I guess uh, help drivers who are maybe fatigued and improve safety and there's two or three features on this car, um, the first one we'll engage right now which is um, a system called Active Cruise Control, uh, most people will be familiar with Cruise Control and how it works. Uh, active cruise control is crucially different because it tracks the speed of the vehicle in front as well and adjusts your speed uh, to the speed of the vehicle in front of us going slightly slower than your cruise control speed. So uh, with that system you can also see the following distance for different sorts of road conditions and different speeds. So right at the moment I've got it set on 100 kilometres an hour on cruise, we're following the car in front. If you always remember the old, old Peter Brock used to say that only a full race two second rule. Uh, if you take the approximate time that we're following here on 100 k's with this cruise setup, that's we're on the two second rule pretty much, just a bit over 1000, 1001, 1002, pretty much on the two second rule. And believe it or not, that is a safe following distance. Uh, it seems like a lot, a lot further than most of us would follow uh, these days, right? But that's a, that's a safe follow distance for 100 k's. Of course, the frustration is someone will pass me and pull in in front, and then we won't be able to say follow distance. In a minute, I'm going to engage another system, um, which is lane keeping assist system, system. And the lane keeping uh, system actually helps the car stay in the correct lane. And it uses uh, tracking technology on the, on the white lines and the marker lines on the road to actually steer the car. Uh, it's not designed so that you can take your hands off the wheel and drive all the way to. Invercargill or, or Alexandra or wherever with your hands off the wheel. It's designed to help you in a situations where you're perhaps a bit fatigued, not paying enough attention, uh, and you might be prone to either driving off the road through inattention or crossing the lane, potentially into a head-on collision situation. So I'll push that button now and we'll just get the system operating uh, in a second. And we'll go up sort of the Fairfield Hill, I guess it's called. We'll call it the Fairfield Hill, I suppose so. Yeah. Up the Fairfield Hill on the uh, Southern Motorway in Dunedin with the system engaged. There are a couple of little tricks with this because it's not designed to take over completely from the driver I have to touch the steering wheel every uh, 30 seconds or else it will uh, want me to eventually disengage. So right now I've got it engaged and we're hands off and uh, Nigel who's passenger in the back will confirm we're about to come up to a gentle left hand corner mm -hmm. and the vehicle will steer itself around the left hand corner. Quite a gentle corner so you won't pick up a lot of steering movement uh, but if I did this with the lane control system off, off on quite a windy day today uh, you'd find the vehicle would would wander off the course. Now we're just touch it just to, get, to keep the system re-engaged. Now we're steering up over this crest. It's basically tracking white line, say it's tracking lines. It needs a good sight on the lines to keep the system operating. So sometimes when you're coming over up over crests, it may not always pick them up, but it's pretty it's pretty good. So Try this. Uh, we'll try this right hand, gentle right hand corner. It's quite counterintuitive in many senses sitting here with your hands off the wheel, but uh, I'll rely on the good folk at Honda that have got this technology right. Left hand corner here. You can imagine if you are fatigued. Uh, that if the vehicle system wasn't steering itself, you could cross the centre line if that, this was a two lane road coming the other way. And so we were just progressing up Fairfield up Saddle Hill, the car still steering itself, the radar cruise is set on 100 km an hour. We'll close up on this truck, I would think, so it'll lose a bit of speed up the hill. Now that's the car applying the brakes, right, and actually do a down change as well with the gear. Maintain a follow the following distance I've seen on that truck. And now I've taken over because we've got people merging in. Lots of stuff. Yeah. 